Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna learn how to calculate our damage. We'll be keeping the calculations in this video as simple as possible so that we can get a better understanding of how damage is calculated. The goal being so that we can understand and learn how to calculate our damage a little bit easier and get rough estimates without needing to pull out a calculator to get the exact damage. So let's get started. Here's the equation to calculate damage. Attack power multiplied by our skill percent, multiplied by enemy damage reduction, multiplied by damage bonus percent, and lastly multiplied by res percent of the enemy. Let's keep it simple for now and ignore the damage bonus percent in the res percent. So first things first, let's get our attack power. This one's very simple. We can go to the character screen and grab the value straight from there. Now this attack power formula can get quite complicated and I will be going over it in a future video. If you're interested in that topic, then now's a good time to subscribe and get notified for when I upload that video. But the goal of this video is to stay as basic as possible, so I won't be going into much more detail about that formula here. We can easily grab our skill percent the same way by going over to our talent screen. Then let's calculate the enemy damage reduction. This equation divides our character level plus 100 by the sum of the enemy's level plus 100 and our character's level plus 100. Let's ignore the defense reduction debuffs in this equation for now. Because right now, the only way to reduce defense is with certain characters' passives and constellations. For example, Lisa has a passive that will reduce the defense of enemies by 15%. Defense and res are two separate things, but again, this can get quite complicated, so future video. So the new equation is this. This is quite a simple calculation, and I'll give you some common examples. When we are at an equal level to the enemy, the damage reduction is 50%. When we are 10 levels above the enemy, we get a 51.4 damage reduction. When we are 10 levels behind, it's at 48.6%. So basically, you get a 2% differential when we're within plus or minus 10 levels of the enemy. Don't be confused here where the percent is higher when we're fighting lower level enemies. The higher the percent, the more damage we're doing. You'll see that shortly when we compare the examples. So now we've got everything for our equation, so let's calculate it. So the equation becomes our attack power multiplied by our skill percent multiplied by the enemy's damage reduction. It looks pretty simple right now because we're ignoring the damage bonus percent and the enemy resistances. This totals out to be about 2,652 damage. So let's go into a game and compare that. So the damage comes out to be about 2,499 in game, but that's pretty close considering the fact that we didn't use the exact values here. In the clip, I'm level 79 and the mobs are level 63, so the damage reduction is going to be changed, and also we didn't take into account any elemental resistance of the hilly churls. Let's try to calculate everything using the exact values in this situation, including damage bonus percent and enemy res percent. We'll first need to calculate the damage reduction between a level 79 character versus a level 63 enemy. This calculation turns out to be 52.34%. I also have no damage bonus in this clip, and hilly churls have a 10% res to elemental damage. The new equation is now 1529 times 3.47 times 0.5243 times 0 0.9. The enemy res is simply 1 minus the percent resistance or 1 minus 0 0.1 which is 0 0.9. So if you pull out your calculator now and plug this in you'll get 2499.27 which is exactly how much damage we did in the clip. Awesome. So yeah guys, go ahead and try this equation out and see what numbers you get. And remember, I'll be making more videos in the future that go more in depth on the attack and the defense stats, so stay tuned for that. Everything in this video is how we believe things are calculated right now. Things can definitely change in the future. We also saw that when we guesstimate, we are off by a couple hundred, but I think it's still a pretty good approximation. Anyway, that's all for this video. If this video helped you at all or if you learned anything new, be sure to like the video, leave me a comment, and subscribe. 